Hello everyone, this is Scott Gay and welcome to ADKC Home Improvement Show. This is Bosch GTS10J Professional Table Saw. Extremely compact and powerful with 1800 watt motor. Look at the saw blade. Diameter of 254mm with a maximum cutting height of 79mm and no load speed of 3650 rotation per minute. For today, I am going to demonstrate to you how to change the saw blade. Let's do it! Before carrying out any work on the power tool, please ensure safety is the highest priority. Switch off the power supply and pull the plug off the socket. Make sure you wear protective gloves. Use only saw blades that are recommended by the power tool manufacturer and suitable for use on the material that you want to cut. Turn the crank in clockwise direction as far as possible so that the saw blade is at the highest possible position above the table saw. For incline setting, Bosch GTS 10J can be adjusted to 47 degree to the left and 2 degree to the right. Open the clamping lever and pull the protective cover out of the groove on the driving knife. Use a screwdriver to lift the table insert at the front and remove it from the tool chamber. Before we start removing the saw blade, we need to identify three important components. Spindle locking lever. Engage. This is the clamping nut and you need a ring spanner 23mm to open it. But, do you know that the ring spanner is hidden somewhere in this table saw? At the side of the table saw, you will see the push stick. Remove it. The ring spanner 23mm is hidden here. Here you have it. Turn the clamping nut with the ring spanner while pulling the spindle locking lever until it engages. Keep pulling it and unscrew the clamping nut anti-clockwise. Remove the clamping flange and the saw blade. This is the original saw blade that comes together with Bosch GTS 10J. Diameter 254mm, thickness 2.6mm, bore diameter 25.4mm, 40 teeth for fast and rough cutting. This is my new saw blade, Bosch Expert for Wood. Diameter 235mm, slightly smaller, thickness 2.2mm with an arbor size of 30mm. Oops, I just discovered that the actual feeded bore diameter for Bosch GT S10J is actually 25.4mm. Looks like we need to use a reduction ring. This one. Okay. 
using saw blade with incorrect ball diameter for anti-rust and to protect the metal surface. Before fitting the saw blade, please clean all the required parts if necessary. First, fit the reduction ring onto the mounting flange. Placing the new blade. Ensure the cutting direction of the teeth matches the direction of the arrow on the riving knife. Fit in the clamping flange. and clamping nut. Tighten the clamping nut by turning it in a clockwise direction while pulling the spindle locking lever. Reinsert the table insert. Fit in the protective cover. It is time to test the new saw blade. Switch on the machine. The advantages of using a 60 teeth saw blade, smooth cut and excellent finish. However, relatively slower in cutting time and burn marks on the cutting surface. Thank you for watching my video and please remember that safety is the highest priority. And I'll see you in my upcoming videos. Bye-bye.